Watch out, AOC. There's a new squad darling on the block. Representative Cori Bush gets huge credit. One person who changed things for, mil for tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people. So who is this Congresswoman Cori Bush? Well, since she now wields so much power, it's only fair to ask. I have private security because my body is worth being on this planet right now. I have private security because they, the white supremacist, racist narrative that they drive into this country. So suck it up and defunding the police has to happen. Joining me now is Brandon Tatum, former police officer and author of Beaten Black and Blue. Brandon, St. Louis expect to see a 83% uh, year over year increase in police leaving the department. So the average resident of Cori Bush's district, uh, can they afford, I don't know, private security details? Uh, of course they can, Laura. I mean, this lady is, I, I, I can say more words, but it's a family show and I'm sure my parents are watching. But Lori, you know, Cori Bush is a complete hypocrite. There is no way in the world that you really love the inner city. You represent St. Louis, which is one of the crime capitals of, of this country per capita. And you represent St. Louis, you represent, you claim to represent the black and brown bodies in the inner city, yet you don't want them to have security. But you will pay 75,000, she said she'll pay even 100,000, whatever it takes to keep her black and brown bodies safe while everybody else is struggling. She's a complete hypocrite. Defunding the police never works. It never will work. It's going to put people in danger. And, and the funny thing is, is that why is she talking about defunding the police in her city, her constituency? Because if you look at 2021, there has not been one single black person shot unarmed by police. There was one in 2020. And the last time somebody was shot unarmed by police who were black was in 2015 in her own city. She is lying to the public and she needs to come correct. And, and, and it really bothers me how she's putting out a fake agenda. Well, she actually has a novel idea about who's really defunding the police. Watch. They're the ones that actually defunded the police by $1.9 trillion, you know, when 100% of them voted against the supplemental for mm. capital police. And so the Republicans are to blame, <laughs> okay? It's their doing, uh, Brandon. Well, you can't find a single Republican that I know of that's on the record saying anything about defunding the police. Republicans are typically um, pro-police. We support police all the time. I can, her alone, I mean, you can look at her interview and the things that she said, she advocates defunding the police. Democrats have consistently advocated defunding the police. But when they get caught in a lie, what do they do? They divert to white supremacy and divert to the Republican Party as defunding the police. They're completely lying. And the okay. funny thing is, is that, you know, earlier before I got on, when she made the statement that the people that are after her are these white supremacists, and it's a complete lie. She knows that this is, you know, it's dangerous to be out here for anybody. It's not just uh, because you're a congressperson. It's dangerous to be out here. People need support. And the citizens of oh, this she... country use law enforcement as their somewhat yeah. of their personal security. She understand the risk, but she's selfish in the fact of saying, I'm the one that's important. My life matters. She's My body boater. matters. Not yeah, Brand... yours, but mine. Yeah, Brandon, thank you. She's a showboater. And she needs to be primaried. She needs to be defeated. And I mean defeated really by a very large margin. Okay. Send a message. Thank you. Thank you.